Apparently, Julian Assange has been charged with something. Now, it's a sealed charge that was inadvertently released, uh, that did that information, um, that he's been charged, but it's still sealed as to the reason why he's been charged. Uh, what's, what's the, what's, what is the charge? Um, it's, been, it's been speculated that uh, he violated the charges that he violated the Espionage Act, which criminalizes the release of defense-related information. But that leads, puzzles me, because I thought that the First Amendment guaranteed freedom of the press without exceptions. So as a result, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, by, I'm trying to figure out how, how such a, a, a charge can be, it can be prosecuted given the guarantees that the Constitution is supposed to have regarding press freedom. So, I've decided to look it up on the, uh, i got a book here. It's the, the, mm -hmm. yeah, the Constitution of the United States with the Declaration of Independence and the Articles of Confederation. I'm going to look it up here, and I'm going to try to find some asterisks that, that, that shows that, uh, See if there's an asterisk in here. It says that there's an exception for defense-related information, that where that, that that where the freedom that says that the freedom of the press does not exist when uh, if if they release uh, uh, defense information. Yeah. So I think I got this. I, I got looked at. That. I remember it's page sixty-eight has that uh, amendment. So I'm just uh, bear with me. I'm almost there. Up to sixty-seven. I can just get 68 open. I think it'll be good. All right, here we go. Amendments. First 10 amendments passed by Congress. September 25th, 1789, ratified by the three, three fourths of the states, December 15th, 1791. Article 1 says here Congress shall make no law rep I'm going to start over. Article 1 Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging, abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or of, or the rights of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for, for a redress of grievances. Hmm. I don't see any asterisks there at all. I hope it showed up here on the screen. Yeah, you see that that's article run right there by my thumb. Do you see any asterisks? I don't. That's puzzling. It seems very clear to me that there's no exceptions made here for any, uh, for, the, for saying that the free exercise of the freedom of the press that does not exist when that press releases defense-related information. So I'm going to go look it up on a different book now. See, maybe, maybe it's on there. i got to go look at that book now. Find, find, find it on my bookshelf. Mm -hmm. Now, it has to be on here. The United States Formation of the Union. Documents. Look at the size of that book. I mean, whoo, that's big. It has to be in here, that exception. That, that the government thinks it justifies their prosecution of Assange. This is, this is a lot of pages. Um... can't seem to find it in here either. I can't find it anywhere. You know what? I don't think there are any exceptions. There are no asterisks that says the, the freedom of the press does not exist when there's release of defense-related information. So, why is this happening? Why are any charges being rendered against Assange? Um... What are, the, what are the differences between 
his his release of defense information, and say the New York Times or Washington Post or any other mainstream media outlet. It's, it's because he he they're they've been releasing the same 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 information that so much some of the same information that he he has released because they've published some of the WikiLeaks information. And there's no way to tell for sure what constitutes defense information in the first place. There's no necess- there's not necessarily any blazing uh, top secret stamp on every document that could contain defense related information. So it's so it's impossible to tell what would might violate the espionage and act and what might not. Especially if you look like say if it really if it's the emails. Those uh the te- the text from the email, even if it says somewhere on the if if it's like the complete uh, the complete email uh, text, you might see it at the bottom or the top. It might say something like top top secret, but that could be cut off. Whatever information that the the, the press or, or whatever journalist is receiving that information, they might just see a, get a snippet of the email that has any uh, kind of warning about it being top secret information might have been cut off. So let's say that journalists might have gotten that information. Uh, that, that snippet of the email or a document with the top secret part cut off. So how are they supposed to know what constitutes uh, the defense secrets and what does not? There's going to be all... So it's, it, it's as a result, like I myself... I don't want. I don't want to release. Uh, I don't want to on my own blogs and vlogs. I'm I'm, af- I'm a little afraid to uh, publish, to repeat any of the information from WikiLeaks, because like, if they can prosecute Assange, why can't, why can't they prosecute me for just repeating what WikiLeaks stated in the first place? Because I have no idea what is. What, 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 what might constitute a defense information and what what and what, uh, what what it what doesn't it's like I don't know <laughs> it's, it could could be all sorts of different kind of information that could const- that the powers that be the deep state in the in, in the government might say oh that's that was defense information you just released so now the, now the maybe they're gonna go after me I don't know I don't want to face that kind of problem. I don't want to. I'm a, I don't want to go against the feds. They're, they're, once they start to decide to prosecute you, um, they have a very high uh, rate of uh, uh, convictions or successful prosecutions. So that really does a chilling effect on the press in general. So I wish the mainstream media press would do, would uh, speak up about about that problem of. Being it for it's just impossible to tell what is a uh, d- defense secret and how what is not, and how that would be such a, de- a chilling effect on the freedom of the press if uh, Assange were to be prosecuted. That's the point I wanted to make. So that's I just want to make a short video.